In this lesson, we're going to be tracking student absences and automatically updating. And then if they're absent for three or more days, we're going to send them an email reminder that they've been absent. So anything within the spreadsheet. So we can go ahead and we can track this. So right now, the person's only been absent once. If they're absent four times, we go in, we run the script that's going to update the attendance. So that's changing the student attendance to be absent four times. And then next we want to run the script for sending the reminder email that they've been absent four times, and this will send them the email. So we're also going to be setting this up within triggers to check weekly to run the update of the attendance and then to send out the email reminder of their attendance if they haven't attended for more than three days. And you can set this up and change the parameters as needed. And this is all done using Google Apps Script in automation. Go ahead and set up your Google Sheet. So we're going to need one for attendance. There's going to be three columns. So the headers of date, student name, yes or no. So he's going to be looking for lowercase. So add in some dates, add in a student name, and then either yes or no if they were present. And then within the students, set up the three columns. So the first one is going to be looking for student name. Second one is looking for the student's email. And then it's going to track the number of absences that the student has. So going into extensions, app script, open up the script editor. And we're going to be ready to set up the script. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to fetch the data from the sheets. So we're going to create a function. The function is going to be just called update attendance. And within the function, first one, we're going to be selecting the spreadsheet. So getting the active spreadsheet using spreadsheet app, get active spreadsheet. So it's going to get the spreadsheet object that we're working with. And then we want to get the sheets from those. So the first one we're getting is going to be the attendance sheet. So this one is going to be named the attendance. So we're grabbing attendance. And we can lowercase that sheet. And in order to select that, we use the spreadsheet object and we get sheets by name. And the name of the sheet is going to be attendance. And then the second sheet that we have is going to be the student list. So this is going to be selecting the students sheet. And we can just call it student sheet. And using the spreadsheet object, we get sheet by name. The name of the sheet is going to be students. So make sure that it does correspond with the names. So next, we want to get the values from the data. So using the attendance, so we'll do attendance data. And that's going to be selecting all of the data within the attendance sheet. So using the attendance sheet object, we get the data range. That's going to return back all of the data that's going to be within the range. And then we also want to get all of the values. So use the get values method. So these are going to return back all of the values. And then we also want to get the student data. So same thing where we're getting using the student sheet and getting the data range and then get all of the values from each one of those. And to make sure that everything is on track, we can use the logger log and we can output the value of the attendance data. And then also just copy that and we'll output the student data as well. So this will output it into the log. So let's run the function update attendance and that should up output all of the content that we have within the spreadsheet into that uh, the, the log there, so everything looks like it's running properly. So we can comment those out. And now it's going on to mapping the student data. So we want to map their absence into an object. So we can set up an object and we can call it student absence map. So we're going to rename this to absence data all. So it's going to be selecting all of the absence data. And we want to just update this to get the absence data because we don't want to include the headers. In order to remove the headers, we can just do an absence data all, attendance data all. 
and then slice that value by one. So this should remove out the header. Let's run the code again, and we see that this has removed out the header, so that's what we wanted. Let's comment these out. We've got the absence map. Now we want to loop through the length of the attendance data. So we can just use a for loop, setting up the value of i as zero. And then we're gonna loop through while i is less than the absence data length. And then iterate, so adding in i plus one. So that gives us the ability to loop through those. So let's grab the row, so attendance data, whatever the row with the value of i is. And then we also want to get the student name. So we'll return that back using the row, the value of i. And do we want to check to see if they're present? So we can have a condition here where we'll just make sure that row two and we'll do it to lowercase so that it's not going to be case sensitive. So in case we've got uppercase, yes. We check to see if this is returned back as true. So it's just a Boolean value that's being returned back with the present. And we want to check to see if the student absence map includes the student name. This is an object returning back that property name of name. And if it's not there, then the student absence map name, we're just going to equal it to zero. And then if it is there, then we want to do a check to see if the student absence map name is present. And if it is, then we want to update that value. So we're, we're going to keep it as is if they're present, and if they're absent, then we're gonna increment that by one, the value. That's corresponding with the student absence map name. And this should actually be looking for row with index value of one, not i, and then also if the student map is not present, then the student absent map student name will be equal to zero. So let's uh, try, run the code, see what happens. So we do get the three absences there. We've added in the loggers in order to test the code. So everything seems to be working properly. So now we can make an update to the sheets with a value of three absences or whatever corresponds to the count that we're generating. So next, let's go through and we're gonna loop through the student data. So same as we've done here, let's loop through all of the students so instead of attendance data, it's going to loop through the student data. And you can remove out the headers on this one as well. So we want to select the student. So let's get the student name. And this is going to correspond to student data using the value of J. And let's uh, update I instead of I. Let's set it to J. And we'll start at row number one. So we're going to add one to the index value there and return back the first item within the array. And that's going to be responding to the student name. So we're getting the student name back. And then we want to check to see if the student absence map name, if it's not undefined. So if it does exist within that object, then what we'll do is we're going to run the condition where we're going to get the student sheet get range. So it's using the student and get range because we want to update this particular cell. And the cell is going to be using the row J plus one and updating the third column. And then we want to set the value to whatever we've got for the student absence map student name value. So let's uh, run the code again, and now it should update the absences. Uh, so let's update this and we'll write another no, run the code, and now it should change that value to four. 
So which it's doing. So next up, we need to send the reminder email to the email address that they've been absent. So let's create a function that's going to be called send reminder emails. And we're going to be getting the student sheet. So getting the active spreadsheet, and then we're getting the students by name. So within the students sheet, we want to get the student data. So once again, getting the student sheet, getting the data range and then the values. So we can remove out using the student data. So just as we did over here, where we sliced the first part, let's uh, set the student data with slice of one. So it's going to remove out the headers and that's uh, looking at the student data all. So slicing the one from there, the first row of data. And I wrote data there twice. So we want to loop through the student data. So create the for loop, let i equals zero. And then looping through the student data length. So looping through while i is less than the student data length, we increment i plus one. And we've got the first row is going to contain the student data using i. So it's going to return back the data. And you can see the information that's just being returned back. So this is going to be the entire row in an array. And we just have the one row of data there. We can get the name of the student. And this is from row with the index value of 0. And that's how you can return back the items that are within the array. The email of the student is contained within row index value of 1. Is going to be equal to the content within row 2. And now we can have the condition that's going to check if the s absence is are greater than or equal to 3. And if they are, then we're going to construct an email address. So this is going to be a subject can have attendance reminder and the message. So whatever content that we want within the message, dear, and then whatever the student name is, so we're going to add in the student. Actually, it should be student name. And we can use the template literals for this. So the back ticks and add in the student name value and the num number of days the student's been absent. And now let's send out the message. So we're using the mail app service and send email and the email that we're sending it to. So the email address that we have from the spreadsheet, the subject, and then the message that we want to send out. And then you got to accept permissions. And once you do that, uh, then it should be ready to send the email. So let's go ahead and we're going to send the email reminders. So this is only sending an email if the person has been absent for more than three days, more than or equal to three days. So there, dear Lawrence, you have absent for four days and we can update the message as well. And then also with the template literals, you can have the spaces here. So we could do it like that to update the email a little bit. There's our new email. Dear Lawrence, you have been absent for four days. And if this uh, changes, so if the student is present, let's do an update of the attendance. And we're only absent one day. So it actually shouldn't send the email reminder. So we see that it didn't send it. So that's how you can create this in order to track the absences. And you can also set up a trigger within the app script under the trigger options here, where we can add the trigger update. So we want to update the attendance first from the spreadsheet. And we want to have a time driven event. So maybe if we want to update this every week, every Monday, and I usually put this to don't notify immediately. 
So we update the attendance. And then we want to add the trigger to send that function afterwards. So it can be time driven. And this can be also weekly. And then just make sure that this is going to be just after the other one runs. And so now it's going to send a weekly email. It's going to do a check, run the functions and check to see the absences. So all you have to do is update the spreadsheet and the triggers will automate and take care of the rest themselves automatically.